Good day, everyone. Uh, before we start, we need to have a disclosure here. You have to be aware of the risk in the future trading. A beautiful day today. The market was doing extremely well. And uh, I want to show uh, some of uh, the trade today. But before we start, i like to uh, tell you how we do this. First of all, we go on a $500 target. So if this market is trending, we're going to stay on that trend. And if this market today, there is a volatility stand giving up all the winning for today, then we stop around 500. So on all the auto trades, the target is 500. Anything above the 500 is okay. Or sometimes the market close at 500. Those auto trades does not require any optimization, tweaking, trailing stop, stop loss. You don't have to do anything. They are based on turn on, turn off. We have plenty auto trades. Other auto trades you can optimize back testing forward testing but we find out most of the traders are having a problem with that so this one here is a just we install the system and then it turn on turn off basis you don't have to deal with the stop loss trend and stop is all the system taking care of that depends on your time frame. Lately, because of this volatility, I want to show something very interesting that for the last few days, amazing numbers we've been getting on the 15 minutes chart, and the stop losses are very, very reasonable. It's like you're trading a normal chart. So, as an example today, we have an ES, which we went live uh, on a YouTube. If you go on the previous video and the previous video for today, you will find this one was in the live trading. This is the DAX. And we've been on that trade uh, this afternoon. And uh, this one here at uh, 13.45 took that trade, nailed 5,800. This is the YM one trade, and what is nice about it, uh, going in and out of the market, you have to face commission, slippage, and higher risk. This is the whole idea. By taking one trade and grab it all day long, this is what results ends up. If we notice here, we had one losing trade today, on the YM, and this is a 15 minutes chart. This is a very acceptable if you want to calculate the risk and the reward is nothing compared for what you're getting back. So this is the YM, and we have that trade on the YM uh, around uh, 13.45, we had the first trade around 9.30 when the market opened. And then the second trade was around 13.45 and never looked back. Let's look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is the same story, but it's only one trade. We took that trade around 9.45 and now we're about to close for the session, and we're still on the same trade. Not in and out, not facing a slippage, not dealing with optimization, not dealing with a trend and stop, stop loss, targets, all this headache is out of your way. So for guys like to have a higher risk, higher reward, this is a very, very, I'm very impressed with the, the results on the 15 minutes and it's less headache uh, and uh, less uh, noises in the market and uh, we took that trade at 9.45 and we still on that trade 
and this one nailed 9,300. Uh, this is the CL. On the CL, we, the first trade we had, it is 2 o'clock, and we're still on that, the same trade, one trade, and it is 740. 30-year Treasury bond, one trade. We had one losing trade, actually, and then the second trade, it happened around around 10.45, never looked back, 1,375. Russell, we have an entry around 10.15, one trade, 3,725. So we're cutting off the commission and then the slippage. For the ones they, they ignore the slippage, this is really serious business because on your way in, you might lose one tick. On the way out, you might lose one tick. So if we have 10 trades, we have 20 ticks in slippage, and you do the calculation plus commission. Plus, when you are in and out of the market, you are taking higher risk because you're not sure that trade is going to make it. On the ES, one trade, 7,225. The trade was taken at 945, nonstop, cleaning all the noises, all the risk, and one direction. So, if we calculate one ES chart, 7,000, the NASDAQ, 9,000, the 16,000, NYM, uh, this is, uh, I mean, you're hitting almost to 20,000 in one day on those charts. So, those are really serious. And the beauty about the 15 minutes of chart, whether you are on Ninja Trader platform or a different platform, this is an institutional time frame. So for the guys have the right amount of money and they are patient enough, you are trading institutional here. And this is, you don't need to bang your head and, and trying to follow or chase uh, a bar going up or down. So this is, if you wanted to have a serious business, there we are, and a higher risk, you can do that. So now we are going on a lower time frame, and also uh, they are on a $500 target. Sometimes when the market is trending, whatever you get above the 500, you get it, and you might close at 500. So as an example here, one minute, which a lot of auto trading, they try to avoid the one minute because they cannot their auto trade trade the one minute. This one here, 875, clean cut. I can take that any day. On the YM, one minute, one, two trade, done 870. Target is 500. On this one here, there is a lot of trades on the CL, 244 takes. Struggled that auto trade uh, today and at least but made it 500. And whatever you get out of it, this one here, a YM, 244 takes and 595 on a couple of trades. Uh, on uh, this one here, the CL, 150 takes, you can see the when you are going on a lower time frame, you start bumping into a lot of trades. So this one is 610. You calculate slippage, commission, you walk away with 500. And sometimes you, again, the three minutes, if we look at the three minutes, 2200 on the three minutes, you can see immediately when you are using the minutes, you are on a total different type of a trading whether you are on one minute, three minutes, five minutes, or 15, or 10 minutes in that matter. 
immediately you go to different level of traded. None of this weird looking charts, none of this unrealistic movement, because once you are on that trend, Ninja Trader is in minute. It's not in some kind of rank bar. It's not in any kind different. Uh, it is in minutes. So the, the most you can get out of it, or if you are trading with the trend, if your auto trade can be traded with minutes, then you can see the different. You can see, once your auto trade can trade minutes, you can move to any kind of time frame. But if you are using a different time frame, you cannot go back to the one minute if this auto trade does not work on one minute. Once this auto trade work on the one minute, you can, all the doors are open for you. So the, the, the basic is the one minute. The, the, the structure the, right there is the one minute. And then you can move on to different time frame or tweak it to any different time frame. Whether it is a three minutes, five minutes, a rank of bar, whatever. This is a range CL 590. This is a 30 year treasury bond, three minutes, 625. This is the NASDAQ, one minute, again, one minute, 690. Slippage commission, you still walk away with a little above 500. ES, one, uh, 150 takes, 512. YM, three minutes, immediately you can see how less trades and more money. It could be, if we didn't have the pullback, can be your trade go to 1,000, 1,500. Depends on the bar's movement. But again, you can see on the minutes, higher money, less trades. And this is what is nice about it. And less trade means less risk in the market. What is this one here? There we go. Look at it right in front of you. Five minutes, YM, 27, 30, one trade. Two hundred forty-four takes, what thirteen on the DAX, thirteen forty-four. Four range, ES five twenty-five. Here we go again, because it's minutes. A minute, five minutes, DAX, three thousand two hundred and forty-two. If you look for the previous video, the Globex video. This one here, I think, made around 11,000 at the European time. NASDAQ, 288. You can see small trades, $700 on the 288. 14.75 on the three minutes. Again, I'm showing it to you right now, and you can see how the minutes can put you on a different level and less trade if your auto trade is tuned enough. NASDAQ for range, 525. I'm sure, th there we go, 244 takes 520. Now look at this one here, it's minute. See, so what I'm showing you is when you are using takes, even a higher time frame takes, you still less trade on the minute and more money and a different type of a trading. The problem is you need to find an auto trade can work on minutes. And this is the million dollar question. So there we go, the three minutes and we are done with that. Look at this again. This is a five minutes ES. What I'm trying to say, it doesn't matter the numbers because today could be 2,000, tomorrow could be 200, or a day after tomorrow could be in the south, two or three hundred dollars. It's not there. But what I want to prove to you that the ones are lost with the auto trading, you can see is the minutes charts. 
That's what I've been saying for many years. For the last five years, I've been screaming about it. And sometimes I've been ignored about that. And there we go. This is fact. And showing you that the difference between the takes range, they are good. I'm not saying they're not good. But the minutes, less trades, more money, if that auto trade can work on the minute. So any trader has auto trades. Before you waste your time, try that auto trade on minutes. If it fell, no use to keep looking at it the rest of your life. Five minutes ES 2275, and they're all market order. They are not, they are not uh, limited order because some traders you get lost with the limited order. So we are using only market orders at the moment. So again, this is a different system here. Uh, we went live on the YouTube with it on the previous video. And uh, we are, for the ones that I don't know, we are uh, sharing our signals from this one here. And we have a lot of good response and a good feedback and uh, uh, copying those signals from us. And of course, at your own risk, because we are just sharing and we're not getting anything out of it. It just trying to help the guys as a second opinion when they're trading. We still have some open trades, NASDAQ 9000 ES, it, the same the same ones we were talking about. Anyway, uh, on this system here, we have an ES entry at 26.12.75, and we've been there for hours. You know, now it's 133 takes. The YM entry, and all, all those are based on one minute and one trade, one lot. They're not based on two contracts. They are based on one contract. So, and they're all based, the chart, if you look at the charts, they're all based on one minute, folks. The minute is your winner. Why am 20, you know, 9.59, and then the target is 2.97, and NASDAQ, entry was 64.73 and then the target was 65.95 the CL entry was 62.36 and the target was 63.72 118 you know for some reason I don't know why but uh, this one here that with the Nasdaq is always high numbers with the Nasdaq for some reason always 437 435 ticks based on the signal. So if we look at the NASDAQ, here is your NASDAQ. Here is your entry price is right there. And then here is your target. And you can see where is your target, which it was much higher, actually. It was almost 500 ticks based on the last signal. Russell, 144 ticks, 30-year treasury bond, two. 24 takes, DAX, 450 takes, and the 6E is south. So, folks, again, the minutes try to, maybe it's not the prettiest chart to trade with minutes, but it looks nicer if you get used to the minutes because your bank account will look much nicer for any type of trading in this industry. It's, it doesn't have to be one system. Maybe it's not pretty. Maybe you like those Ranko bars with the large bars, but they are not profitable. So I don't, I don't find the, the, the minutes are that bad because if we look on any one, and those are one minutes, if we look... Without a doubt, I mean, if somebody been trading for just a couple of years, he can see, look at this, how accurate the minutes are. So 
If you take the wrinkle bar, any type of wrinkle bar goes up and down, but it's not showing you really what's going on in this business, you know. So, yeah, I'm um, very famous against any type. I'm, I'm very much um, on, on the one minute. And you know what? It's working. So, folks, that's all what we have uh, on the signals now. Total 1,630 takes based on the last signal. Not all day long. It's based on the last signal. And uh, again, for the guy have the right amount uh, money, he can hatch the the futures, which is a very profitable by hatching the future. Stand going two, three contracts on any type of an auto trade. He can take one contract on the ES, one contract on the YM, and one contract on the NASDAQ as an example. And if one of them did go south, it's irrelevant anymore because you have the other two horses running. So what I'm saying is when you have the proper money in this business, it can be less um, hard on a guy with a very limited amount of money. So he needs to start crawling a little bit and not dancing with the big gorillas like DAX and CL and take one step at a time. This is the only way, folks, uh, to do. And the, the most important is knowledge, knowledge. Now, you don't have to understand the price action, but you have to know how to manage. It is number one problem by a lot of traders. Uh, we are a human. We like to get aggressive sometimes. Folks, that's all what we have. God bless you all. See you another day. Bye for now.